Lending money to loved ones is often not a wise idea. Why? Because it puts your relationship at risk. But what do you do when someone you love is in a serious financial situation and you have the means to help? Check this out. Hello, I'm Echo Quigreen and welcome to my channel. Lending money to friends and family is not something I advocate for, but it's doable. So, in this video, I'm going to share with you 8 tips on how to protect yourself, your relationship, and your money if you decide to lend money to your loved ones. As you know, there are many other tips out there, and my tips are not cast in stone. So, feel free to share your experiences in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. Okay, let's jump straight into it. Number one, never lend money on good faith. It will be very stupid, stupid of you to lend on good faith and expect to get paid back. Treat your friends and family just as if you were loaning money to a complete stranger. You need to set up the payment terms with your loved ones. Be smart and logical about this. Do it from a thinking place and not from the heart. Number two, give yourself time to consider your answer. There's always a whole lot of emotions involved when someone you love asks you for a loan. So give yourself time to think about what you're about to do. Contemplate on other avenues you can help your family member to solicit to get the loan. Don't just hand over your heart and cash. This will be the most lame thing to do and should be your last result. Tip number three, never borrow to lend your friend. Trust me, I've been there and that was one of the worst decisions I've ever made in my life. Shut down that thoughts completely. As you can see, I'm getting worked up already. But guys, on a serious note, never put yourself in a position where someone else's action could affect your ability to borrow or secure credit in the future. Number four, only lend what you can afford. Always assume the worst case that your money might never be paid back. And at some point, you are going to let go the debt in order to save the relationship. So don't lend your loved one money that could break you financially. There's an old gambling saying that you should never bet more than you can afford to lose. So do exactly that. Tip number five, always know what your money will be spent on. I know, I know. It's awkward to get full details on how your cash will be spent. Well, think of it this way. A bank will never blindly hand over loans without knowing what it will be spent on. And neither should you. If your friend gets all worked up, take it as a warning sign and walk away from that deal. Just believe me on this one. This is the one thing I regret not doing when I lend my hard-earned cash to my friend. Tip number six, always charge interest on your loan to a family member or a friend. Think of this action this way. You could use your money for your immediate needs and therefore you'll be missing out on a potential benefit when you choose to loan that money to your family member instead. Also, charging interest will motivate your loved ones to pay back the money in a timely manner and will protect you from being charged gift taxes on the money you lend them. Tip number seven, discuss terms. Another thing I should have done when I lent my money to my loved one was to discuss the terms and conditions of the loan. So don't take this tip lightly and make the same idiotic mistakes that I made. No matter how awkward this might make you feel, make sure that you clarify the amount being loaned, the interest, the repayment scheduled, and the late payment fees well in advance before any money changing hands. Had I done so in my situation, would have helped me clear the air and settle the dust and would have probably reduced the emotional stress I experienced. Tip number eight, have a binding written contract. Let me tell you something. Verbal contracts don't work, period. Do you know why? Because there'll be no one to witness and your verbal agreement will come down to your word against someone else's. Don't make the same mistakes I made. My advice is don't lend money to family or friends. Period. But if you really find it necessary to do so, then get it in writing, signed, and witnessed to prevent any future misunderstandings. Guys, what other steps or methods have you used to ensure that you get paid back from your loved ones? 
Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace. So don't la <laughs> so don't lend your loved man <laughs> so don't lend your so don't lend your loved one money that could break you financially.